Hello everyone and welcome to the next in our series of Daily Origami for YouTube. Today we're going to be working on another simple project that's real common when you're first learning origami. And this is probably one of the easiest things that um, lots of people make when they're kids. Uh, that goes by lots of different names, the cootie catcher, it's also used kind of like as a fortune teller. Um, so this origami is probably very well known to a lot of people. Um, all you need for this project is just one piece of origami paper and you want to start with your color side facing down. We're just going to fold and make um, horizontal and vertical creases. So fold in half, open it up, turn it around a little and fold it in half again. And then I'm going to open this up and I'm just going to go ahead and fold towards the center here on all four sides so that I get these little triangles revealed. Turning around as I do this. Once you have all those folded towards the center, what we're going to do is turn it over and do the very same fold. We're folding up towards the center on all four sides. So you should have something that looks like this. Now we're just going to fold everything in half so I can get a good crease. Open it up and fold it in half the other way and get a good crease. And now that you have those creases, what you want to do is, if you look at it from the top here, I'm going to pinch towards the middle, putting my top, my forefinger and my thumb in each one of those squares. I'm just going to pinch push it together so I can get something that looks like this. And then I'm just going to gently open up each of these flaps like so. Go around as I do all the four of these and that is where you're going to be putting your fingers if you turn it around so that you have your completed little fortune teller. And these are often used, they're used, I, I know, I made them all the time when I was a kid in America, and then all the kids here in Japan make them too. Um, it's very common then to open these up and to write different messages. You can put uh, numbers or colors or letters out here, kind of as a way to ask people to choose their favorite number or color. If you put numbers, you can, you know, count how many times and open, and then uh, do another set of numbers again, and then you can choose to write messages on the inside of what kind of fortune or uh, message you'd like to share with people. So that is a very basic and very common origami for today, the uh, fortune. Thank teller. you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.